Right, it's time for the AMA. This is where your fans get a chance to ask you absolutely anything. Yeah. We teed it up on Soccer M's Snapchat, at Soccer M. And we've got loads of questions. Shall we have a look at the first one? Yeah, man. Here it is. With Ranieri's departure, has Shakespeare done enough to secure the Leicester job? Oh, good question. So, Shakespeare, has he done enough? I think he's done plenty, time? hasn't he? I think he's uh, he steadied the ship. I think he um, he went back to basics of how they, how they started uh, and how they won the league. And I think he obviously 100% deserves it. I, th I think who else is there that you'd want to bring in now? I think the players are happy with him. And I think how, especially the Champions League, the, the form in that was, yeah. was unbelievable. And they, was, um, you know, they, they gave a great account of themselves. But, you know, the way he, he quickly turned it around was really impressive. We'll talk about Ranieri later, but yeah. were you surprised when Shakespeare was given the job? Did you think they would go for someone else and, and not someone within the club? What, what was your thoughts there? Um, I, I think they needed time to sort of try and make the right decision. And I think by giving it to him, Obviously, he works with the players every day. He's there coaching them and everything else. And I think it was the right thing to start with. Obviously, the, the results came uh, in a real positive manner for him. They were winning games. And that, I think as soon as the owners saw that, I think that's probably made their decision. OK, good question. Let's have a look at the next one. What do you think of Kante's first two seasons in the Premier League? Two BPL Cups and with two different teams. Now, that is Kazzy. We can't actually see Kazzy there, uh, hiding behind a tea cloth or something. Uh, Kante, he, wants, he was asking about... Uh, I mean, only positives can be said whenever we talk about this man, can't there? I know, and you know what he achieved at what he achieved at Leicester, um, and I watched him quite a bit. He's, he's a different, you know, a different player to me. Uh, he's more of a sort of Neil Lennon type of player that I played alongside. Um, but what he what he did uh, last season, uh, the season before, was how quickly he could win the ball back. He was like two players basically. Yeah. It was like playing with twelve men because. His energy, the way he read the game, uh, and his distribution was great as well. So he would start the attacks from deep areas, and the way Leicester were playing, there was a counter-attacking team, mm. get the ball to Mahrez, get the ball to Vardy, but he was constantly winning the ball back, which is, you know, players like that. There's, there's not too many players around as good as that. Where do you think Leicester would have finished if they'd have kept Kante this season? Um, a lot higher up. Yeah. A lot higher up. <laughs> I think everyone can, uh, can, yeah, agree, yeah. can agree to that. Right, so look at the next question. As you are a Leicester legend, I want to know which was your all-time favourite goal scored in a Leicester City shirt. Now, I don't think anyone in the pub heard that because they were too busy focusing on the beard. That's a great beard, isn't it? That is impressive. I'm going <laughs> to aim. For, I'm going to aim for that. Uh, greatest goal. I'd love to see you that. Not, not far off. <laughs> not far not off. Far off. Oh, he recently shaved it. So, uh, yeah, greatest yeah. goal you ever scored for Leicester? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple that spring to mind, but I'd probably say the obviously the team we're playing tonight springs yeah. to mind. Playing uh, Tottenham at home, uh, there was. At that time, Martin O'Neill was looking at leaving. And he, was, he was being tapped up by Leeds, I think it was. And um, all the fans come out with their banners, Martin stay, and I managed to sort of score a volley, which it was one of them that you sort of hit and hope, if you like. It, it could have ended in Rose Ed, but that night it sort of hit the back of the net. So that was quite pleasing. And we're going to dig that out for our second show as well, because it is a great goal and it's worth seeing. Uh, let's have a look at the next question. Why was you upset when we left Filbert Street? That is Chaz. Uh, good question, that. Were you upset? What were, the, what were your thoughts when Leicester left Filbert Street? Uh, I think it was, obviously, it is a, it is a sad time, but you, you have to move forward. And the new stadium they've got there now is, you know, we had some great times there, but, you know, modern stadium now, if you want to be in the Premier League, if you want to, you know, if you want to achieve things and you want to progress, then you, you, you need the stadium to go with it. I think that held about 21,000. I yeah. think the new stadium has about 32, 33,000. I think they needed that change. And you said to me before the show, this is great, that you've still got a season ticket mm. at Leicester. So you yeah, go yeah. to King Palot. So how did the atmosphere compare to the two stadiums? Well, I think with these clapper things that they've brought in, it took it to another level. It was incredible. I take my lad every more or less every week. And um, yeah, it, is, it is deafening sometimes. And the, the, the season they won the league, it was a huge huge part of their success, I think. Obviously, they were doing the business on the pitch, but the atmosphere created a, you know, it was, it was a hard place to come and win a game of football. Yeah, so these fans here were part of Leicester's Obviously, success. yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Good to hear. Yeah. Right, let's have a look at one more question. All right, Muzzy, what would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life or the feeling you're going to sneeze but don't for the rest of your life? Uh, that, yeah, that, you did hear that, right? That's Georgie Monkey. We have to say, it's called AMA, so they are entitled to ask you yeah, absolutely yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. And Georgie Monkey's done that. So yeah. he says, would you rather sneeze the feeling of sneezing? It's not yeah. actually sneezing. I love sneezing, don't you? Do you? I love sneezing. Don't you love this, that's, that feeling of sneezing? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> OK. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to do that, you know, not being able to sneeze. So I'll take the hiccups. So you take the hiccups yeah, because yeah, you love yeah. the feeling of sneezing? Yeah, yeah. OK, brilliant. On that note, Muzzy is it, everyone? Yeah. <laughs>